Hi, so in this session we are going to deal with the salary calculation, pay slip and payroll, salary rules, everything. Salary, every, every calculation related to the salary is explained in this module. So for that you have a module named HR, then under that you have a payroll menu, payroll, employee pay slip and pay slip patches. These are the calculating module and we have the configuration page for the payroll which is really important to structure your salary. For that you have three important concepts to know that is contribution register, salary rules and salary structures. These three are really important. Once again I'm saying contribution registers, salary rules and salary structures. First, we are set. We are configuring the contribution registers. Then the salary rules are configured. Then only the salary structure is configured. Ultimately, the salary structure is assigned to each employee for calculating its salary. Okay, for each employee, we are first creating an employee once he has joined the company. Then for each employee, we are creating the contract that is a role of the employee in the organization and its basic wages, everything is created separately for each of the employee. Then the salary rules are created. Before that, the so contribution register are created, salary rules, then salary structure is assigned to each of the employee. And based on that, the pay slips or the salary calculations is done. Okay, so going to the contribution registers. Okay. What is a contribution register? Contribution register is nothing but the third party involved in the salary payment of the employee. Okay, third party involved means that uh, an employee and employer, uh, there is a contribution of the employee and employer, uh, employer in the salary. That is, uh, say PF, PF. There, the employee and employer is contributing something to the from the salary. Okay, employee is contributing something from the salary as a PF. That is a deduction from the salary. So the third party involved in the salary. That is PF. Okay, professional tax. The employee and employer is giving the p contribution for the taxes. So each of these are the contribution register. That is the terms involved that is the deductions are the terms involved in the salary as a contribution okay these all are registered here okay hope you have understood this concept contribution registers then if you need to create one contribution you can just create the name just just test just test okay any of them write the description and saving this is just the contribution registers it has came here so uh, contribution registers are first configured and created as per your requirement after that the salary rules are created this is where your salary rule is said uh, for example I will show you one the basic salary rule okay its name is basic and its category is basic whether you can say this is elements or reduction or everything can set it as basic okay then the code showing is basic and active it should work in the audio system then appears on pay slip this check means that this calculation will show in the pay slip and this, if this is unchecked the calculation is done but it won't show in the pay slip then <coughs> condition based on this says that the salary rule will work under some conditions or would it should be always true if this is always true then no problem for all uh, for all workers set to the salary rule will work it automatically in the other case whether the set as range okay whether if this salary rule explain the, the salary structure and that salary structure is assigned to some employee a okay so that employee is calculating the salary and in that case if we are setting the range as say 5000 to 10000 range salaried employees will get this basic rule okay 
in that case uh, the rule will work for only those employees who have the salary from 5000 to 10000 range or based on some range based on the wage of the employee no problem then python expression you can create the Python a Python expression here. You can just write down whether the result is is based on the basic plus wage minus deduction based on the leave he has taken in that month. Okay, anything, any rule that you can configure or we can code in this in this menu as per your requirement. Okay, then Python code computation. Computation is calculated here. Okay, contribution register. You can select which contribution register, the structure, the salary rule assigned to it can be professional tax or anything. Setting this as test, no problem, any of that. As per your requirement, saving this. Okay, so what has happened is we are creating the salary rule and what is the condition based on the salary rule and uh, the python code is created for uh, the condition okay mm. selecting this as previous okay salary rule okay salary rule should be worked always and whether I'm setting this as a fixed amount say 100 okay no problem say 100 as a quantity then contribution register set saving this okay this is how the salary rule is created then child rules whether any child rules for the salary rule that is this is the base one this is a parent based on this parent do you have a, do you have any child rule the same procedure as the as we are creating the rule no problem the same procedure you can create as, as easily then input and descriptions are if you have any inputs and descriptions you can write it here so the salary rule is this okay saying that uh, in which condition the salary rule will work and and w what computation should be done what computation means uh, what, what is uh, the, the basic salary should calculate the base amount that is a wage plus allowance minus deduction this is a general formula that we can write here base basic wage plus allowance minus deduction okay this is a basic rule then we are going to the salary structure after contribution registers then salary rules then going to the salary structures okay I'm creating a salary structure name <coughs> service major okay base for new structures or what it is base for new structures or sal manager salary or what do you have you can choose it here the, who is the parent okay then reference service service managers and salary structures created where you can choose which all are the salary rules relating to this it's basic gross net house rent all salary rules will work for this okay then selecting this all will work for this salary structure this is how a salary structure is created salary structure is nothing but the structure for a group of employees that is you can s you can set it for each of the employee and say this employee is working under the structure this employee is a manager so he has the structure of manager's salary okay this is how the salary is created every employee should have any a salary structure that is that is selected in contract wait a minute edit HR settings okay going to contract edit okay every employee this is an employee's name so every employee has a has got a contract and the salary structure is explained in this 
contract okay this says that he has a 4000 wage plus marketing executive salary structure that is wage plus this salary structure will work for this employee okay so for each contract for each employee there is a salary structure okay that's confirmed okay then I'm saying salary rule salary structure and everything has done now configuration has been completed then going to the employee pay slip if you are creating each employee pay slip separately then you can go for employee pay slip and select the admin is admin okay while creating the contract in the uh, admin in the contracts menu we have assume we have selected that he is a marketing executive so that this field is automatically generated okay from contracts we have said that admin is a marketing executive salary structured employee so it's automatically created then the details are so we are computing the salary of 51 to 531 fifth month first fifth month 31 okay we are computing salary after computation the salary de uh, details will be th that will come automatically that is he has salary structure of marketing executive this salary structure show basic rent conveyance gross provident fund taxes everything okay okay this will show and if this is right then you can confirm this co this or this you can cancel the base level also as per your requirement okay good this is how the employee pay slip is separately generated but in the case if you have a group of employee salary structure should be salaries should be calculated then you can create generate pay slip sorry you are creating the month of May salary then May May 1st to May 31st salary generate pay slip then add an item select all employee we can select all employee because every employee salary structure is configured in the contract menu so we can aut we can select uh, every employee then select and generate this will automatically generate uh, generate the salary computation from sl slip 38 to slip 65 the whole employee salary computation has been done then we are saving this okay then each of the employees confirmation from 30 30 <coughs> from 38 from 38 38 this is our previously created salary now I am choosing from 38 each of the employee salary should be confirmed or cancelled uh, by taking each person salary checking after okay this is in the draft state what does that mean is payslip batches will compute the salary but it won't confirm it it's just computed then after that for each of the employee we need to go to the employee payslip and uh, the uh, for that slip number we are taking that slip number then confirming or cancelling it by checking each of that okay this is done then 38 has been done then next one is employee pay slip 39 okay I'm cancelled in this don't want this so set to draft then going to the 40 then I am confirming this this is how the salary calculation is done why this is so because uh, if you have calculated the every employee salary and uh, there may be some elements extra or some calculation mistake can be done somewhere there so for each employees confirmation for each employee salary calculated uh, should be confirmed separately in order to reduce the errors or working work the environment or work the system smoothly for that each of the employees salary calculated should be confirmed separately there's just a reason for for uh, confirming each of the employees salary separately okay this is how the employee salary is calculated contribution registers are configured salary rules configuration and salary structures configuration then employee pay slip and pay slip batches okay the it's all about the pay slip 
module or HR underscore payroll module. Thank you for hearing this video. Thank you very much.